¡Historia! I'm actually drained. I'm not even joking, I'm drained. What a race. Okay, mate. As much as it's an amazing race, let's start off with the week. Let's start off with Friday, at least. Like you suggested to me before the video. We'll, we'll talk Friday yeah. and Saturday. We can, we can put hold on Josh for a minute. He was wearing the wrong shirt. Also, Look, hi. I am wearing the wrong shirt. But yeah. it's now my lucky shirt. <laughs> Forever. Uh, wearing a Mercedes shirt and it's your lucky shirt from McLaren to win. That makes sense. Hey, whatever I was wearing that day. So definitely my, my uniforms and lucky shirt as well. Because <laughs> I was watching the start of the race on a phone, on the bus. So it looks like from now on you're going to have to be travelling on a bus <laughs> in your uniform. <laughs> <laughs> Just for an entire race from now on going. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> right, we said we'd start with, with the sprint, so we'll cover that quickly, I suppose. Um, yeah. Do you know what? Boring sprint to an extent, I'd say. There was a few highlights, but it was mostly away from the front, other than Danny Rick. Danny Rick, wow. What, what a race, a what a defence. Just, he, he, he was brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Um, shame about what happened to him then, you know, later on. Well, I say is that right? That all starts off at spring qualifying. Yeah, Danny's qualifying sprint was amazing. Like, how he pulled it off, I don't know. Do you know what? Right, I think it was a combination of things. I think the fact that Verstappen wasn't actually that quick, um, McLaren had backed off yeah. going onto the softs. Mercedes were shocking. Surprise. On the we'll say look, they were shocking on the Friday. I'll say that. We'll, we'll get into it. on the Friday. They were yeah, shocking. yeah, they were shocking there. And then yeah, I'd say even the Ferraris were struggling. They were they were they were struggling with grip. A few of them were on softs, and I think that's why pretty much all of them stayed away from it over well over the weekend. Really, as a, as a whole, yeah. I think there was only one person that went on softs, and that was today. Um, for life, I can't remember. I think, what two, I think Joe started on softs today. Yeah, because it was all hards and mediums, and then there was just one person on the softs yeah. at the beginning. The tire deck on those must have been. Ridiculous, and it it didn't really work out for Joe. Really, yeah. Sprint was, you know, and then we had K Mag. Right. <laughs> I have got feelings on K Mag. I understand completely. He's playing the team game. I am a hundred percent about that. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, yeah. He's not caring about himself. Caring about the points for the team. Cool. Yeah. So for context, I know we're recording this after the race on Sunday. If you include the penalty points he's got from today, he possibly got two pounds today. I don't know what. What happened there? We've definitely got one penalty from today. He got two or three from Friday. He's possibly one point away from a race plan. Yep. Just because of one weekend. Interesting, isn't it? And all for him being a team player. Yeah. The right way to go about it. There's a limit. <laughs> it's in a sense his own fault. I get he was trying to do what he needed to do for the team, but at the same time, maybe he could have raced. I mean, the Mercedes wasn't. Ridiculously quick on the Saturday. Um, it was no. quite slow. You know, Hamilton struggled to get past him. Could have still finished where he was without all the penalties. What I will say is, alright, I like Magnussen for one reason. Go on, man. He made my prediction right. Hulkenberg got points. <laughs> <laughs> Hulkenberg did get points. Yeah. Well I didn't done. say what race, I just said points. Your prediction's right. I mean, technically, I made two predictions. Um, I'll put it up on screen in a second. So, Friday, I made a prediction. That McLaren were gonna get gonna be fighting for P one. I was right I'm there. At him. And all right, it may be a race too late, but I did say that Ocon was gonna be the first person to get points for Alpine, and that also happened. You guys should stop being safe for predictions because yeah, maybe maybe you should just <laughs> ring me up and just say, Jack, what's your thought for this weekend? Um, hey, I used to be good at my predictions, but before I started doing YouTube, so maybe it's your fault. <laughs> thanks. I stole them from you. Uh, uh, that exactly. was part of the deal when you when when we decided to do this. The deal was well, to be fair, I did predictions. When we used to discuss YouTube, I'd say how the race is going to pan out probably, and most of the time I was correct. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah, blaming yeah. you. Yeah, thanks, <laughs> thanks. That's what I appreciate. <laughs> but, so when these sprints started a couple of years ago, I didn't know how to feel on them. 
yeah. you've gradually got like the more and more. I yeah. think they've got the right amount in now at six. Keep it at six for the year. I mean, it's the right amount. Change it up every now and then. Yeah. Just give us more ties for a weekend or a sprint. This makes no sense. Yeah. Saturday was a decent day. Uh, we've done this talk about the sprint. The sprint was good. Qualifying, it was good to fit. It showed a bit of promise for Sunday. Yeah, we all thought that something was going to happen, you know, and they tried. They all tried. You know, Mercedes yeah. switched up to the mediums. So did uh, Norris as well. He switched up to the mediums to just try and see if maybe they'll get the extra pace out of those mediums because they the mediums did seem to be the tire of choice for the weekends. They were they were just oh, perfect, yeah. absolutely perfect. Even the hards looked all right on them as well, actually. Those cars switched on the hards. The hards loved that track today. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what it was. Obviously, yeah, we had with qualifying, and it didn't quite reflect across to the race. But qualifying, you know, um, Mercedes struggled again. That they brought upgrades. <laughs> Where was the upgrades? <laughs> I know. Like you compare that to McLaren's upgrades, and McLaren were just completely different realm. That car looks quicker at the moment. Obviously, we only done one track, but yeah, yeah. it looked quicker than the Red Bull. A lot quicker. What I'll say is McLaren don't bring many upgrades every year. So yeah. every year across the year, but when they do, they bring it all like in one go. Like last year, they were awful until Austria. As soon as Austria hit, bang, challenge for podiums. And now they haven't upgraded. They've upgraded a little bit since then, but they haven't upgraded massively since then. Mm. So they then bring 10, 10 upgrades. Okay, for at least Lando. So Austria yeah. got half. So let's say Austria got five. Lando got ten. Ten upgrades in one, in one race weekend. Wow. Whole new car. That's what it looked like. It, it literally, Zach Brown said it's a B spec car now. This is the B spec car. It really shows, yeah. and we saw flashes of it on Friday night. You know, it didn't really come to fruition on Saturday and then Sunday. I have no words. I know you have many. So try and keep them short. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not going to get on. I don't want to get on just yet because I will. You won't be able to stop me. <laughs> so let's give everyone else a fair chance. Okay. <laughs> what right, I will so... say as well, though. Oh God. Just before we go to Sunday, what happened to Daniel Ricciardo? I don't know. Between that, in 24 hours, what happened? It's not even within 24 hours. It's within... Four it, hours after, yeah, cause yeah, like, then, yeah. Yeah, between sprint and qualifying. He just had an absolute shocker. Pace just went. Where was it? Yeah. <laughs> now, obviously, they've changed the car to be able to make the spec for the race today. And whatever it was, it just messed with the car too much. You know, I... I know the three place for penalties it was like, but... Yeah, there was 17th. three. He had three. He started from the back of the pack. No, yeah. No, no. So you caught yeah. 17, then you start 20 because of it. Like, I, don't yeah. know, I mean, to be fair, he seemed in quite good spirits. He was speaking to Crofty before, and he was still quite, you know, smiley and happy, uh, happy and whatnot, you know, the usual Danny Rick type stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, he looked absolutely made up on Saturday as well. So just standing next to the wall, remember, I remember the image, he was just standing there next to the wall. Crofty was walking over to him, and he just looked happy. Like, there was... The Danny Rick from years ago. Well, apparently the upgrades they brought is basically mm. a new car as well. So maybe these upgrades have went to him. Okay, yes. So last Sunday and Saturday night went great. Yeah. But maybe he's thought this actually suits him now because China, he was good as well. Yeah, yeah, he was, yeah. To be fair, that, that RB actually looks a bit like a beast. Almost. It, it wasn't good at all. It, it looks rapid. Not. It looks all right. Like if if Danny Rick decides to actually get a move on and just no, but you know what I mean, get a bit of a move on yeah, yeah. and be that driver that we know he can be, you know, him and Yuki will be top ten finishing pretty much all the time. Might be only like tenth and ninth, but they'll close that door on the top ten. Yeah. No, I agree with that one. I I could see it happening. Obviously, you know, bar any mistakes aside, you know, it can happen. To the best of yeah. any of them, really, you know, um, you know, we, we saw a mistake out of Verstappen today, first time in the, I don't even remember the last time, <laughs> but mistakes do happen. No, I um, fair. Yeah. that mistake nearly cost him his own downfall. I mean, yeah, he lost the race anyway, but he gave himself a VSC. Yeah, which 
again, you know, we had this discussion the other week. You know, they were very late to react again. It, it was so right, close sorry. to being on the line, and then obviously someone must have hit it again because it then moved over to the other side and was broken in half. It doesn't take two laps to say, oh yeah, I need at least a virtual safety car there. Yeah. It's that bollard type of context. So Max has hit the bollard. You haven't talked about the mistake he made. Max has yeah. smashed into the bollard. And that, where's Chicane on the calendar? Yeah, because it's slightly it is, up sorry. as well, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And it, I, I could have ran about the Chicane. It was awful. But the bollard went flying, hit the wall, and ended up on the racing line in the third yeah. sector with, with a straight. At the beginning. You look at it and go, well, yeah. oh yeah, I need a VFC there, or at least two double yellows. Nah. One one little slide from a car. That ball all gets hit. That's possibly a puncture. You've got a yep. bigger accident. It might not even just be a puncture. I mean, Max's car carried that through. Yeah. What? And well, at least another corner in a bit. Like it obviously goes like that and then goes round again. Like yeah. it, it carried it. It came back out. Like I'm surprised it didn't damage his back wing as well because it flew out through his back wing. He got lucky to eliminate himself through that. I don't want this to happen, but we see marshals in mm. the middle of a road in Singapore run scares Ballard or something just to break. I don't want that to happen. No, of course but not. But at least you were trying to improve the safety. Yeah. What are you doing there? I'm sorry. We're going, I'm sorry about the run. Shouldn't be running about it. But it's frustrating that that could have been a big accident today. Big. Could have been. Yeah. I mean, talking of accidents. Oh God, I know it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, to be fair, we're just slowly building to Norris. So I know, I know. I I'm going to get an advantage. Just want talking to of <laughs> accidents. K-Mag. Again. This time actually yeah. causing a crash and wiping somebody out. And I feel so sorry for Sergeant at the minute. It is just not going his way whatsoever. Sergeant's done nothing wrong in that instance. That's his corner. He's entitled to that corner. Manx yeah. isn't far enough along. No. Just back off. I know Magnus is a hard racer. I've got no issue with hard racing. Yeah. But there's also stupid racing. Oh, yeah. I mean, a couple of them had come out over the weekend saying that they, you know, wanted hard racing. They wanted this, you know, proper, oh, yeah. pretty racing. People to just stay out of it a little bit so they can actually race. And, you know, hasn't really uh, made, we... a, made a point for himself there, has he, really? <laughs> but we saw hard racing for the Grand Prix. That was clean and fair. <laughs> Hamilton Perez. Hamilton originally with Magnussen, was it? Yeah. It actually was okay as a bit on the edge. I was touched. Yeah. racing. Yeah. Do you know what? We <laughs> could talk about hard racing literally at the beginning of the la- uh, of, of the race. Turning into, I know oh, was it turn 17? With both Alpines. Oh, and, and, oh my God, that was amazing. Side by side. Oh, like, Gasly. <laughs> I, I wouldn't, like, playing F1, I would never go side by side in that bit. If it, I would have backed off, I would have backed off yeah. about that ten minutes because I, just I would like have to bothered. have their cojones. I, I want know. their cojones to do How that. How could you go side by side down there? Like that was amazing. Hamilton did it as well, coming up to the chicane. He went side yeah. by side as well, and again, how? Him was taking snow, wasn't he? Oh, yeah, sad and I around there. Yeah, all coming. <laughs> yeah, coming into that, coming into the next corner, you know, and just poof, like. Yeah. I could never do that in a million years. I don't drive, but I, I, I wouldn't even try that in a go kart, let alone. Uh, no, no, I, I just wouldn't. <laughs> fair play, anti fair. Speaking of Alpine, a lot better today. A lot better. Still not where they need to be. No, I'll, I'll come back. Which is good. Fair play to Ocon. Mm-hmm. Did they, well. They've got that Did one point on well. the board. They're now they're now third to the bottom in terms of constructors. They're seventh. No, 7th, 8th. They'd be 8th. Sorry, not 7th. Yeah. Because half is 7th, and then there goes a V carb. I'm still calling them V carb. Don't care, I'll be calling you V carb. Yeah, <laughs> it's an improvement. They just, just need to keep progressing now. Yeah. I'm hoping it's not track dependent. We got distracted from the original point, as per. So, we Did were it? talking what was about. The point? We were talking about Sergeant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's normal. It is normal. How do we always do that? I know how I always do that, but anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so. He needs a break. That, yeah, he needs a break. And 
give him a race off if you can. Maybe just say he's ill. Just I don't mean like that. I think he just needs to catch a break. Yeah, he's getting he's... a look. He's actually improved the last couple of races, but he's not catching a break. Uh, I know there's on Twitter called Sergeant Nation, which I'm shouting out by the way. So if any of you are watching, <laughs> I see you. I love that. The, I am in the group. Um. <laughs> And I swear, when, when Sarge got points, they did like a massive like gift of him with yeah. eagles going out and everything. I love that. Really. Yeah, and um, <laughs> you know, right before the race, they were hoping that it was going to be a great race for him, that he was going to get the justice that he deserves. And I think I feel sorry for all of them. I really do. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, he just can't catch a break. He he needs he needs to just. The way this is this is going at the minute, the F one, you never know. He may just win the next race. I don't obviously I'm not sure I actually see that happening, but you know, you never know. He might just I'm go through and wipe. Like, he's going to wipe everybody out. <laughs> he's just going to go through, crash through every single person, win the race. Everyone else is out, um, and he's going to get a ten place grid penalty, to which there's no one else in the race at the time. So. Uh, that's what I hope for him. Uh. Speaker and they reckon people out the race. Mm. K Mag did it. Perez wanted to do it. Yeah, he just dive bombed everybody, didn't he? Yeah. Well, I don't think he actually meant to. I think the corner came a bit quicker no. than expected. And obviously he's got I know past. Why, I know why he's meant it. He's seen the gap because the clear had an awful start. Mm-hmm. So I can see why he's went for it. But he needs to remember it's the first corner, the first lap. Yeah. You ain't win the race from there. Not a chance. Not a chance. But, I mean, to be fair, no, no, no one really thought that Norris was going to win the race as such. So we'd have thought we maybe got top two, top, two, top three. Um, we'll get to him in a minute. You brought uh, them all! I know, I know. There's it's a smile on your face every <laughs> single time I mention his name. Um, We'll, we'll, we'll get to you and your crying and snotting all over all over the floor in your house. Um... <laughs> oh my god, he's done it! He's done it! You sure about that? Um... No one was there to compare more than I. <laughs> <laughs> As the beginning of the video can attest to, I have the voice note. <laughs> Shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't have did that. Excited. I know, I know. But you know, he, sh- he shouldn't have dive bombed. And no, that that that's a jack move. <laughs> that that that's me from twentieth place trying to dive bomb on the inside at Zanville. <laughs> um, <laughs> every time. Yeah. Um, every single time. It doesn't matter where yeah. I am on the track. I will dive bomb. I will dive bomb myself. Um. <laughs> Just from I'm, lag. I'm sure you find a way to do that, probably. Yeah, it'll be lag. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I think we're up to the the point of the conversation where I end up just not saying a word. <laughs> right, go on, Josh. You take it away. <laughs> Cherub. 2019. 110 races. The same amount of races as Lewis Hamilton had at McLaren. He's finally done it. We can forget about Sochi. We can forget about all the missed opportunities. We can forget what Monza and Daniel won said. He's done it. He's finally there. He had the unfortunate record of the most podiums without having a race whenever. He overtook Nick Heifeld, I think it was like two races ago. Mm. Scream, Nick Heifeld, have the record back! <laughs> he deserved this so many times. Like I know Sochi, it was his own fault. When he lost it in 2021, I completely agree with that one. He was a lot younger then, a lot less experienced. It wasn't even close today. He had the pace. After that safety car restart, it was all him. Yeah. Max couldn't, didn't have an answer. No. It wasn't a fluke. He, he was pulling away about not far off half a second of a lap. Like he, it was he, three he and a half tenths of a lap. Oh, there you go. Yeah. He, he was just pulling away. And yeah. don't get me wrong. My heart was in my mouth. I, I was sat there, could not move away. Even even my wife, she, you know, said, "I'm only going to watch the beginning of the F1 
Um, <laughs> she likes to just watch people crash bang into the first corner. That's the only reason she watches it. Um, really? And a little bit for Charlotte Claire. Um, but yours, no, yours is the same. Um, <laughs> she does. You know she does. Yeah. But she stayed for the full thing. And it, I don't blame her. <laughs> even getting off Lando, it was the race of the year. Like, it actually so had far. competition. It was fighting from first to last. Yeah, it was all over. Absolutely everywhere. Yeah. I think, well, at most, the only p- person that didn't really change that much was Leclerc. He only went down eight places. <laughs> and that was because of pit stops. Like, that was it. That's it. He, 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 he didn't even get taken over, did he? No, it was all in pit stops. Yeah. Because Lando jumped him, so that was the only thing he lost. There you go. So technically speaking, Charles Leclerc dropped a place without being overtaken on the track. That's the strange thing. You'd have to look that up. I wonder how many times that's actually <laughs> happened, yeah. yeah. To be fair, you know what? It could have probably happened, you know, somewhere else a lot, in the same race. It was just the one time I noticed it. Yeah. But, yeah, what a race from Norris. Absolutely fantastic. You know, it was breathtaking. Is what I will say. Breathtaking. What I'd like to say is, it was, this isn't me trying to be all Lando Norris fanboy and all this. I think that was probably the, what's the word I'm looking for? That's a fan favourite win. Yeah. I don't think anyone's going to be upset with today. And the amount of drivers that went over to him at the end of the race. Oh, yeah. Ev- like, much happy. Everyone's happy for him. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, right. it was fantastic for him. It was raw emotion as well. You know, he was being paraded yeah. up in the air by, by, his, by, his, by the rest of the staff and stuff, and he was crying. You could see it. You know, it, it was just fantastic from him. I think he was crying on, on the speaker thing yeah, as well, right. wasn't he? Over the headsets. Yeah, like, um, he was thanking his mum and dad. And I think, like, I've never actually seen heard him thank the mum and dad after a race win. Well, you got to think that I know Lewis would put him there. did after he won the World Championship with Anthony. His yeah. dad. I, yeah. know, I know definitely with that one. Oh, I, don't yeah. think I can't remember the last time so I'll thank them or that for a win. Red Bull oh. might go back to domination for the rest of the season, but at least we'll look back and go Norris. I don't. I think Norris is going to be a lot. I think Norris going to be a lot closer to McLaren now because China, McLaren thought they were going to be awful. Mm. No any awful. No. Miami, to be fair, Miami had a good feeling about completely right but I can just remember back to the years when McLaren were look I was... I'm in me with Mitch White now I'm mm. probably looking at my face now I just need to shave the hair I get it I agree but <laughs> I've supported McLaren since I was a little kid I know and to see them go from the best team in the on the track to one of the worst a lot of emotions <laughs> But I've never not believed in McLaren, even through their Honda years. I know Honda's a great engine now, fair enough, fair play. But I've never not lost hope that they'd always come yeah. back. But to be fair, I think I think you know, yeah, there probably might be the best best way to wrap it up before before Josh has a little cry. <laughs> I'm just happy. Lisa. I don't blame you. I, I honestly, I do not blame you. I'm Wouldn't sorry, I'm wearing the wrong shirt. It didn't. I didn't expect this. Fake fan, <laughs> fake fan. Um, <laughs> I was wearing the McLaren jacket today to wear. Next counts. week he's going to be like, "Oh, Max Verstappen's my favorite. He just won." Um, <laughs> no. Look at me. I love Red Bull. Anyway, <laughs> I just love the sport. Yeah. And today showed why. Yeah, it was a great race. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, also. Thanks for all the love and that we've been getting on uh, Twitter and TikTok over the last few days. It's been amazing. Oh my God, yeah. It's been fantastic. Like, yeah. I feel like I've been in a fever dream. <laughs> like, in the space of like three days, we've hit one and a half million, you know, impressions on TikTok. Like, I just, it's, it's been great. Fantastic. Um, when we started this in January, we didn't even think, we, it was a pipe dream to even get anywhere like that. Uh, yeah, we we thought next year we'd be at a thousand followers on 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 X, let alone anywhere else. If we were lucky, <laughs> if we were lucky, yeah. If you know, 
a few hundred on YouTube. We thought maybe monetization next January, February time, but it's been been a wild ride so far. Uh, yeah, thank you for everything. If you know you love the channel, please share it with other people. You know, please hit the link to our sponsor, uh, F1 Store. It's you know, it's at the moment the the main way that we can make any money. Um, yeah. But we have things in the pipeline. We've got things going on in the background that we're talking about. So, um, including, you know, one-off videos. So, you know, wait out for that. We'll let you know when that comes. And the exciting yeah. things that we are planning that we we are going to make into fruition. Like... Didn't even think that we we're going to. That didn't even think that we we're going to start making at this point. Um, it wasn't yeah. even a plan until <laughs> a few weeks back. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Check out F1 store. Uh, you know, Miami merch is on there. Uh, buy your buy your Lando Norris stuff. There's a lot of Lando Norris stuff on there. And yeah, I'm sure he'll still be doing this when we get to Imola in a couple of weeks' time. So yeah. <laughs> Lando Norris is going to win a second race. <laughs> Josh has predicted it. It's not going to come true. So. No. <laughs> don't predict it. <laughs> I do the predictions. Max Verstappen's gonna win. Max Verstappen's gonna. <laughs> yeah, Max yeah. Verstappen to, I don't know, retire from the race. <laughs> Charles Leclerc to win. Right. No, that'd be great. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. <I'm getting> we'll, <laughs> we're, we we've been really bad, everyone, and we will see you soon. <laughs>